It's kind of funny. The <laughs> it always feels a little fraught starting one of these things. I don't know why. Um, and also why I can't get set up before I turn the thing on. I don't know. It seems like I should be able to just be like, hey, hello, whatever. But like, there's always a little bit. Of, I guess it's like almost like a little introduction thing. It's not super intentional. Uh, it's just habitual and the habitual probably. I don't know. Uh, so I figured out last night that we have a bug in the way that the pathing works for, uh, oh, I should have moved some stuff over. Yeah, let me move some stuff over real quick. Um, we've got a bug in the pathing of the video music assembler, music video assembler, whatever. Um, Yeah, that'll work. Uh, zero A. Okay, let me go up here. Sorry, bear with me one second. I should have done this before the stream, but I didn't think about it until now. So now we're going to do it. Where's Trove? Transfer. Whoops. Transfer. It'll take a minute to move some stuff over. Um, The pathing that I did when I first put videos in the slot, basically for all this stuff, was I, I make, oh, I could actually use this video or this thing. I should probably use this. Uh, yeah, in fact, are there two in here? No. Video clips, why is that there? without a scenes. That's weird. That shouldn't be there. I don't trust that one yet. Um, so I make, when I pull down the videos, I take the URL and I turn it into a hash just to come up with a file name that we need to have to store the stuff. And because there's going to be a tremendous number of videos, potentially like 5,000 of them, I don't want to put them all in the same directory because that'll affect performance. So I took the first two characters of the hash and made a folder and then dropped the uh, files inside that folder. But what that means, what you can see here, what you can see here, nope. I swear I just had one. Was the one I just threw away? No. Whatever, we'll get it from Trev. Um What you see here is so this is OA3, OA6, OAE2, right? So multiple file, multiple videos obviously can go in the thing. That was kind of the split of it, but it makes my search patterns a little tricky. I could go back through and do this, but really what I want to do is I'm going to migrate all those files so that each set of files is inside its own independent folder. Um, and what I mean by that is, let's find, I need to turn that down just a little bit. You all have to get your own music today. So let me figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff. So storage, Dev, NASA video smoke test, source clips. So we're going to want it there. I need an example with a few different things in it to test that this works for real. Um, so we're going to clean this up a little bit. So here you can see I've actually started doing it. I've dropped down and put folders for each video. So the the contents of the folder, now there's just one video or set of, set of clips per folder, which is gonna make it a lot easier to deal with. Um, but I have to go redo how we deal with it. So that's what this is gonna be. So new folder, this, this, 
I'm gonna drop all these in there, hopefully. Okay. New folder for that. Whoops. Don't need that. So that was the OA6. This will be this one. I'm going to script it. So I've got, I don't know, a few hundred videos pulled down on the other machine, but I need to, uh, so I'll have to go through and do that. I'm going to do that. I'll write a little script to do that. I'll need to do that on, on stream. Um, this also I'm testing where, what happens if a file doesn't exist. So I, I coded that in last night because um, it's all the data All the decisions get made off these CSV files, but the CSV file gets made before the videos get clipped. So it's possible the CSV file could list a video that doesn't exist. So that's I've moved these out just to test that. Um, but now we get to go through and actually try and figure out how to update the process here so that um, all this stuff works. And I need slightly different music going on. There we go. Because what I was doing when I was searching through the, and this is where things went a little sideways, is I was looking for, I, the clip directory is the top level root clip directory. And I was just matching the files with star star, so anything in that next directory, slash scene and scene ID. Wait, how did that even work? This may take me a minute to figure out. I, like this is not, uh, this this was a bit of a hack based off the, the file structure and I should have just done it at that point. Clip directory. So we're getting the CSV file Oh, and it was going to 11 or whatever, because this, this directory wasn't there. So it would come up to, and we get that directory. And then I don't know why it needed that. It probably didn't. I put in logging last night too. Yeah, this stuff is a little gross, but all right. So let me take this out. So this actually is all I think it'll blow up right now. Um, and the other one that I want to do is so I set up logging, and the logging is in main, which is this file. File mode. Right. So I think what that's going to do, I've got a, L for logs. So here's runs, but I want to, I don't need to capture these forever. I can just capture the most recent run. Um, All right, so I think a bunch of stuff is going to break. Um, but let's see what happens if we just run our tests right now. Actually, I guess our test shouldn't break. Transitions, that's the temporary file. Should figure out a way to do that. I will deal with that later. So NASA assembler test failed. No module name MP3 file, huh?
What? This is so weird. Like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't get this. Two passed. Two failed, sorry. Here, transitions v2, transitions v2. So it is there. <sighs> this stuff is so fraught. No module name mp3 underscore file. This worked 12 hours ago. So it's in the video assembler. What is going on? Oops. Oh, that's the integration test. I think it's still going to work because I haven't messed with any of this stuff yet. It takes a while, though. It looks like it's finding clips. So just go away for a second. OK, so the MP3 is still working, so that's good. Uh, oh, why isn't this working though? That worked last night. It, was, it worked 12 hours ago. No module name MP3. Not changed working directory NASA. Oh, that exploded. Let's see if that had anything to do with it? Nope. Well, this is not what I expected to have happen. Two tests failed. OK, it's a different failure, though. Key error transitions v2, load config. Maybe this wasn't working last night, and I just never ran it. It's possible. Where's load config? Now what's going on? Oh, load config happens in here. Load config transitions transition to v two. I mean, I ran the full thing yesterday, and the integration test is working. Fake config. OK, so that's test load config. Config path, self, face, config. Maybe I didn't run this last night. Blah. 
All right. So it loads. Okay. Uh, okay. So this needs to have transitions v2 on it. I did not run this after making the change. I should have run a full test suite. I got to figure out how to do that. So that's a list. All right. Now what's going to happen? Still passing, still failing, being optimistic. Oh, come on. Uh. Keyword error transitions v2 in load config. NASA assembler load config transitions v2. Sample. Okay. <sighs> Certainly looks like that should be loading. Test assembler, load config. So config path equals fake config. Aha. Always fraught testing configs and file system stuff or whatever. I don't even know if you really should test that. Should you even test that? I was just loading a config file. You're reading it and you're loading it. You're reading it and you're making assemblies. I kind of don't think you should even test that. I mean, I want to make sure that the stuff is there, but it would explode otherwise. I don't know. I'll leave it in there for now. All right. Only one test is exploding. Ran and ran two v transitions minus one. Oh, okay, so it has to have at least one transition in there. That's kind of a integration test. Oh, integration two. Wait, I thought I pulled that out. I mean, I got an integration thing. Is this all the same thing? What's the difference? So output file, remove it, make it. Now I got Daft Punk in my head. So this is just running the MP3. What's this running? Pause. Config file, real sample, JSON. This is actually reading. Oh, this is the NASA assembler. I'm not sure if that should be there or not, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm still trying to figure out like where and how to test. Um, but for at least right now, it's loading. 
real test path. It's writing config real. So we need to add a sample in there. We need to add a transition in there. And might as well do it in here too, just so we're consistent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't run this last night. But that weird thing with that dot in there, having to do that. Yeah, so it's not it's run the integration. Oops, something exploded. Directory not empty, arm dir. What? Run three tests. Uh, found file not found error, no such file or directory. Oh, so it's trying to real test path. Dev NAS assembler. Wait, it's supposed to jump over that. Can I just run this test? Is that the one that's failing? I like PyCharm being able to just run a single test at one time. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's up at deep. Do I want to become famous by followers, primes, viewers? I do not. It wasn't even English. Oh, they're trying to get past. They're using. They're trying to get past spam moderators. By using accent marks across all their letters. They didn't do it so great though. They should have just done a couple, and then a couple from a different one, and a couple from a different one. See okay, now it's running. Test failed one. That's not running. Sorry, that spoke too soon. It ran a lot further. What's going on? No such file or directory for the temp file. Okay. Dev NASA assembler tests output root. So why isn't it making that? So it's running off config real test. No, uh, yeah. So that's all there. But uh, why didn't it make it? Concat error. Reinitializing filters. Failed to inject filter frame stream. And uh, bah, 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 bah. what was the? Dev, I should have run my test more frequently. We're going to ask assembler. Tests, clip root. Is this where I took them out? No, they're all there. Oh, I should turn on my logging. I know how to do that now. So main. Test NASA assembler. I guess you do that in a knit. Or do you just do that up here? That looks like it's angry. Import logging. Run.
Did not seem to like that. Logder is not defined. Oh, okay. Logder, path, there we go. Still busted. Sys is not defined. Okay. Oh, PQRS. And from path, path loop, we got path loop. Okay. And file mode. All right, let's just take that out for now. See what happens. There we go. Now we can actually see what's happening. So there's the command. Test failed. FFMN concat error. Reinitialize filters. Adding transition. Let me do one other thing. Sample real config. Duration zero. Wait two. Fine. Go. Do it here too. Uh, let's do 100, because I don't know what zero is going to do. 100. These are the durations of the transitions. It's possible that that duration was too long for the video, but that shouldn't have happened. That should have been... It should have hit an infinite loop, actually, if that happened, um, because it should keep looking for a transition that's short enough. Now it's not erroring. Okay, see, that's tricky. Because it should have erred. I wish, actually, well, so I know what the fix was there, but like, I don't know why that actually happened. All right, file mode isn't going to work here. That's fine for now. We'll do that later. So there's our configs. I'm not happy with how that's set up, but it is what it is at the moment. Yeah, I guess you really don't need to test load config here because all it's doing is reading a JSON and pushing it in. And like it'll explode if that stuff doesn't exist. That's like it's not, I don't know, it's not really testing logic. But what I don't understand is that concat stuff. Duration of click, make video, final output, update transition JSON. So like right here, creating transition JSON. For I in range one length durations. Set transition false, safe to transition. So if the start duration clip Is duration so it starts at so we're starting at range one so we want to we want to get to zero so we go get the first clip so this gives us our duration times a thousand which is nine 
milliseconds. Because the durations come down in seconds. But if the duration, yeah, I want to run this again in a second and see. I want to do one full run here, make sure it really does work. And I'm going to go back and flip out those, these back up to 1700 and see why that didn't go. 1750, whatever it was. Because it should have, like it, it looks, it looks at the time of the video clip. So the video clips have a duration of milliseconds or the transitions do. And the video clips have a time. And that code is supposed to make sure that the transition is longer or at least as long as the video clip. And if not, it gets a different transition. But I think that error was because the transition was longer than the duration of the thing. I should go to, uh, I should go test that somewhere else. Um, FFM peg concat transition test. Timing test. I just, I did not want to make a new file. I want to make a new directory. FFmpeg concat transition Timing test. There we go. Now make it a file in here. Test timing dot pi. Actually, test timing dot bash really is what we want, right? Uh, rename, rename, refactor. Echo blah. Just make sure that works. <gasps> Oh, okay. Oh, I'm a different thing. Okay. Oh, it, it runs off its own file thing, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So that's still running. These videos take a little while. Okay, so that works. I love PyCharm. I'm really glad I started using it. I think you can set up to use VI uh, hotkeys too, which I should start doing. Is that angry? It's not gonna tell me. Oh well. So what we need is samples. So let's go find us some samples. Storage dev storage transitions source. So let's go here, storage, FFmpeg, concat transitions, source. A smarter thing would have been to make, and let's actually do this. Um, Video clip tests, video clip. V1, whatever. Video clips timed. Uh, 
uh, that's the wrong place. Transitions, source. So these are the source ones. One, 15 seconds. Two, I think these are 15 seconds, right? We have nine seconds. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. Wrong, got the wrong ones. So what I'm looking to do, I want to get the raw ones at 15 seconds. Uh, so we can actually, I think, do this temporarily. So let's bash. Let's bash for loop. Uh, maybe CLI. Ooh, something's freaked out there. Don't like it when it does that. There we go. We'll see if this works. Test timing. All right, this is just gonna be an experiment to see if I can do some bash stuff. So that's a one-liner. I also did not get it that time. Let's get it this time. Well, actually, let's type it. So we can do four I in, we want to do one 14, do FFmpeg input I'm going to do this actually in place video clips timed make clips I want to be able to run this twice if I need to, actually, I'm going to need to run it twice. So for I in one fourteen do FFmpeg input one dash fifteen sec dot mp4. TO timeout is I for one dash I dot MP four. All right. See what happens. Syntax error. Unexpected into file. Probably needs an end. Done.
that was not what was expected. Maybe it needs to be in quotes. Oh, it needs a dollar sign in front of it. So the other thing we should do, even though we don't really need quotes, because we're on the same, like there's no uh, spaces in those paths, but still. Now it looks like it's making stuff. I just want to set a clip so that I can have to mess around with for this kind of stuff. Um, I I could make one that are just two seconds long and do my transition test or whatever. But if I make if I'm gonna make a couple, I might as well make one for all of fifteen seconds. Also, I learned a little bit about for loops right there. Practicing that's it's practicing bash is what it is. So, okay, so we got that. So in PyCharm now, test bash timing, wrong. So we need transitions.json. which is going to have the format of this. This is fine because in JSON, like you can throw, I was throwing weights into it that just get passed over by the, uh, by the stuff that's actually not what needs to be in the JSON for whatchamathing, FFmpeg and cat. But so ffmpeg concat t for the transition file, transitions.json, and then, okay, so that worked, we think. Did that work? Oh, I should have put sec after it. Ah. I can actually do this twice. So I could, right, I could do for a different for loop. Yeah, let's actually look at that. How do you do multi-line for loop? Because I don't have that in my notes. So let's get that into the notes. I don't want that. I need to create a script that will loop through items. I want this, uh, I tried that. I want to insert a string in the script. To echo. I understand this. A equals for I and A. You use a while loop instead. While A B C D. Okay, interesting. Ah, whatever. Let's just try it. Uh, oh, that didn't work. So for I in or for let's actually do good names. Um, video in video ID in one, two, and then just do do, right? Do and then done. Yeah, it just doesn't need to be on its own line. That's the only trick. So like the semicolon gives you the line break. So do, and then you can put as much stuff you want here, I guess. 
It's funny that you don't need a semicolon there. But here we're going to go for second in 114. I really want to put a, uh, what's my thing? Colon after that. Done. Done. Let's see if this works. That's there. So this becomes video ID. And this becomes second. Make clips. That's doing something. It's making them. See if it makes both sets. My prediction is yes, because those are the two variables. So, and one of them's ascending. I assume the other one will ascend as properly as well. All right. Video clips timed. All right. So let's find that. So I'm trying to make a storage directory where I've got general stuff. Dev. You know I should make here is a scratch pad. I kind of like the dunder, the double underscore that, uh, whoops. Yeah. So the reason I'm doing the storage is just to have stuff stored in general, but also like, um, to keep stuff out of the Git repo, right? Cause this, I commit this every now and then. Um, so this is going to be what? FFmpeg concat transition timing test. Concat transition timing test. Output Oh, um Output file equals Output MP four. See some of this too is me getting used to trying to do stuff better this way, right? output file, which we want in quotes. And then concat is just going to be input file one equals storage, whoops, storage, video clips timed. One second, wait. One, two second it already exists. What happened there? Video ID, second once, uh, aha. Also, it's out of yes here, just because we're going to go ahead and overwrite those. So that can do that. This. So let's use 
a two second clip. Input file two is going to be two or two second clip. I'm just looking, I want to reproduce that error is what's going on here. Um, so output file and then input file one, input file two is the way that this works. So you do the output file first and then you do the however many input files you have behind it. All right, so that should be it. We just need to wait until output file two has been generated. Which, oh, you can't tell because it's I'm overwriting them. So whatever, it'll be here in a minute. I guess you know what I could do? I could play, yeah, I guess I could play other music. Just have a little something in the background going. I don't know if that's better or worse. Just make sure it's not going to play. Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. It's like I start playing tunes. Yeah. I don't know if that's fair. I'm listening to different music now. Uh, okay, well, that's doing that. The other thing we can figure out is logging, uh, logging file mode. So where's our logging? So this logs to a file and prints. File mode. Right. Unrecognized argument file mode. I'm listening to Jazz Salute, by the way. We're going to change the file mode for a logger object that is not configured using basic config. If file name is specified, open the file in this mode. So file handler. What if we do it here? So I want to overwrite. So what that'll do is I want to overwrite the file each time when I make a run. I don't need to keep it appending forever. Um, Logging Python file doesn't overwrite the file when using the mode W. W plus. This solves the problem for me. The problem is that the file doesn't actually get overwritten until a new Python shell is started. Let's just put a W there and see what happens. So we just ran it three times and there's only one there. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to add that. Kind of all over the place right now. I get it. Right. Test MP3. Test NASA assembler. 
right? Oh, this really should be local, right? Logged or path there. Uh, so this is tests. So this would be test nestle assembler dot log, right? I close this and open it. Will I see it again? Does that only, okay, now we got another thing to check. Is Does that only go, yes, we were all over the place. Welcome to development, I guess. But I, I don't know how to do this stuff yet, so this is figuring it out. But once I've figured it out, I'll have it figured out, and then I won't be as all over the place, right? Oh, uh, NASA assembler tests. So if we run this. NASA assembler lock, here we go. Tail, follow, test, NASA assembler log. We should see that go in a second when it gets to the FFmpeg command, I think. I was trying to watch it down here. Oops, that didn't work. I can't see it. Where's the break? There it is. Nope. There it is. Render. Oh, it's going to take a minute to do. After the transcode, it's going to do it. I just want to see this go. Um, Because we should see the line come up. I mean, we've kind of already proven it because the file's there. Um, but I just want to see it actually go. So we should see when this flips to FFmpeg in just a second, it will throw off the command that it's going to write. Or it's going to command. It's going to execute. And we should see that happen. And then it'll take a little time to go. So I want to see. I want to make sure it happens and then the stuff happens. If that makes sense. Uh... This is good. I've actually figured out some good stuff today. That log stuff was, I played with that last night. I was almost going to do that on stream, but I was kind of burned. Um, so I just kind of zoned out and did it later. Guess I could center up there a little bit. While we wait. Uh-oh. Whoop. Broke everything. Broke everything. There you go. 62%. All right. Moving on. So I got the log stuff going. Yeah, and all this is in service. So I want to test. I want to make sure I understand where that error was coming from. So I'm going to try and reproduce the error, but in a isolated manner. Um, and then once I do that, hopefully, like, I think that's what this is, is the transitions longer than the clips somehow. Um, because when I change, so we got the error twice and I changed the duration of the clip or of the transition and it worked. What I don't understand is there should have been code in place to prevent that from happening. But it may be that it needs to have even more padding on the other side. So now we should see there. Okay, there it is. 
yeah, so it's it's working. Um, or it's throwing logs properly. As expected. Alright, so that's cool. Transition that. Alright. Back to... So there's a debug, debug, whatever. Uh, I don't know if I want to put that in NVL yet. Probably I should. Hi, logging. 2020. Additional file. So this logs across, so it logs to the same thing with two files, which is nice. The W will make it truncate the file each time. Let's see. Uh, okay. Pit stop time. Be right back. Oh, I look like the uh, C-3PO character doing the, this. Kind of like, whoop. All right, that should have passed. Should have finished, right? It's funny because PyCharm definitely does not like this.
which maybe there's a better way to do that. I don't know. So it likes that one. That's fine. That's fine. So it's the handlers that throws it. Basic config handlers. Uh, we'll look at that later. First thing, I just want to check our output here. Where do we write that to? Dev? Smoke test? No. We can check the logs. Will this get me all the way down? Yes. Temp file, dev, NASA assembler test output root. Okay. Tests, output root, driver speed. That's great intro. Chicken. Cool. One, three, four. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So now we can go figure out transition timing. I'm pretty sure these will have been done now. I really need to get some slightly different colors so I can see what's going on with these things, right? What the difference are. Colors, background. Background. Nice dark blue going there. Just so I get a slightly better chance of seeing what's happening. Silver Rebel. Yeah, let's do that. Oops. Oh, lost it. I close it. Just click out there. There we go. Blue and white. Now I have some separation between uh, pot charm and it. Yay, we can see what's going on. I might darken that down just a little bit. I need better theme. Oh, I did it again. Oh, I see. I'm clicking over on one of these. I got it. Okay, that'll work. Need better themes. Also, the light just changed outside, so my perception of it has completely changed. Let's go back and do what we're trying to do. So, storage. Uh, video clips. Video clips. There we go. No leading zeros. That's okay. So if you run this, what's going to happen?
command not found input file one can't have spaces is that what it is No such file director transitions. Uh, I spelled transitions wrong. Okay, now it's making it. Okay. So this should go relatively quick because it's only two seconds worth of video. I mean, I guess if we really want to do it, we can go down to one second, right? So let's see what happens if we actually go to one second with the transition timing at two seconds. And we're going to need a yes here to make it over right. Still worked. So that many milliseconds. See, this is concerning because this. Yeah, OK, so there's the error. Error exit with code one. Error reinitializing filters. Failed to inject frame into filter network. Invalid argument. Error processing the decoded data for stream zero one. So I'm pretty sure that's it. So if we do this. This is exactly the same amount of time. So let's see if this works. And like, so it's one second and one second. And it's a two second transition, but I think that should, yeah, so that worked. Storage, scratch pad. So this should should immediately transition. Right. So that's a little weird. But if we make this that, like add a, a millisecond to it, see if that kills it. It's probably a little tight, but 2,500 or 2,100. Yep. Okay. Ah. Stop. Because the concat transition duration, do RA duration is longer than the clips can handle. It's longer than the clips in general, right? Oh, so let's do another test. Um, So if we make this, and this is why I made a bunch of them. So if we make this five seconds and the last one's one second, does it still choke? Yep. And if we make this, this one one second, and this one five seconds, does it still choke? Yep. But now if we make this one three seconds and this one three seconds, It should work. Sweet. There we go. 
go. Okay. This is a test to see about the below error. Change the input videos to be less than the transition time. Or change them to be greater than the transition, than the duration. And it'll work just fine. Fire, fire, fine, finer. Um, note that if either clip is less than the transition, it will fail. File, fail. This is the error. Pretty sure that's what the case. I saw that the other night. But I didn't, uh, I didn't actually put it in my notes. Should have put it in my notes. But now we got it on the notes. Okay, so now that's cool. I'm not going to worry about that big error right now. We'll worry about that later. I'm going to close all these and get started from scratch. So we had test NASA video assembler and we had our transitions.json. No, we want the, where's the config? See this. So this exploded. I don't remember which one of these we actually need to do, but we're gonna do both of them. Ooh, that, that would definitely do it. How do you capture, see that's not going to Python logging capture standard error. Not enough rep to comment, but I want to add the version of this that worked for me in cases class log writer. self so is really update for Python three included dummy flush function, which prevents an error. this 2015 see that's one of the things right it's all their older stuff but like create a flush method 
method so things can be flushed when the system wants to. Not sure if simply printing sysstandard error is the correct way to do it, but it seemed to work properly for me. Sysstand out. All right, I just want to see what some of the options are. That's 2014, uh, 2011, goodness. Dev Dungeon. See, like the more recent. Still rendering. Wait, I was supposed to have crashed. See, it's all inconsistent. That's the trick. Oh wait, or does it crash? You know what I need to do is make a smaller file. Like a 10 second MP3. Oh, look at that, short MP3. I have already done this. I did not remember that. My memory, my memory, my memory, my memory. Storage, NAS MP3s. Whatever's put there right now. So Pi, so NASA test, because don't we send it? Output root, sample root, config, no. Oh, testing on the file system. Didn't crash. So this is the integration, right? Sample data. Sample config real. MP3 root. Tests MP3 root. Dev. Dev. NASA assembler. Tests. MP3 root. Paste. What was the name of that file? We'll keep the same. No, we'll call it short three, that's fine. We're just gonna need to update this. Short three, MP4. All right, you stop. Oh, it passed. So why, see now it's inconsistent again, so.
I mean, so the problem is it's got ran. Wait, it's supposed to be the same. Oh no, it's not. Cause I can add, so I can add a random. Ah, that's what I should have done. I can add random seed up here and that'll make the randoms do the same thing all the time. Just import random. Yeah, import random. Now it's repeatable. Okay. I think I know where the problem is, and I think I'm just gonna try and fix it, but I'd rather see I'd rather get to oh, skipping longer than end clip. Yeah, see look at that. So that's what it's supposed to do. I have a feeling it was just at the breakpoint. Uh oh. Why is it still going up? I have a feeling it was just at the break point for one of the clips. All right, I'm just going to I'm just going to put some code in place that I think is going to fix this. I'm not sure how to test it to like I could keep firing at it. To try and get it to hit. I'll do this one last one, see what happens. Oh, there, wait. Was that it? Did we get it? Directory not empty. This is new. Was that because I stopped it last time? Oh. Hmm. Concat error. Directory not empty. Arm dir. Direction not empty. And this blows up because no such file or directory. See, I think that is just because we stopped it in its last run. Let's try a random C2. Let's see what we get. That was actually a bad move. I should have tested it again and see if it came back to life. Chokes after this, right? Can't remember. If this works, I'm just gonna go put in the code that I think is gonna fix it, which is just gonna be adding a second or like a half second to the So I check to see if the if the clip is longer than the transition or if the transition is longer than the clip. And I'm guessing those numbers are just very close somehow, and then somehow it doesn't do its thing? I don't know. Transcode. Hmm. I think that's already passed where it would blow it up. I close Audacity, since I already have that clip. I should spend some time just going through and, like, structuring all my, like, here's all the source test stuff. Like, Here's videos, here's mp3s, and then different links, different batches, different whatevers.
And yes, I recognize that that means it's not included directly with the test, but like some of these videos stuff I'm doing is like pretty big. And like, I don't necessarily want that get up. I think this is working. <coughs> so this is what it is. So duration zero, if start clip not if, so the start clip durations equals that plus 500. Ooh, I saw red go by, but. We'll just give it a half, another half second there. All right. One more run. Just make sure that doesn't break anything. And then we'll run the MP3 test. Which I guess you can run those at the same time. Can you run those at the same time? Unit test, NASA test assembler. Let's see if we can run it at the same time. Test MP3 file. You can run them at the same time. Nice. All kinds of crap broke there. No, oh, because I moved, I changed files. Anybody else like prefer to do finds manually than just like a straight find and replace. Or like, I let the thing find it, but then I manually do the replaces. Oh yeah, it's gonna be shorter. 18, I wonder what else is gonna break. Test one passed. Expected. Actual, so yes, let's go see these things together so we can see them. All right, it's off by one character somewhere. Start time 105. Start time 15. Oh yeah, 18 minus three seconds. I know what's going on. It is for the fade out. Which 108 needs to be 15. Okay, those are passing. Oh, it'd be cool if when you clicked over here, if it clicked back over here for you. But those passed. One question though is why clip root? No, MP3 root, short MP3. 18 seconds, videos 20 seconds. Uh, that's got to be just a difference in something. I don't know what. I'm not going to worry about that. It seems to be working.
All right, so after all that rigmarole, I haven't actually done the thing I came here to do, because... But I got... Like, that logging stuff is good, and the test structure is good, so... And I've got a shorter thing now, so we're in progress. This is where things are going to go funky. Normally, I try and stay... Pretty close to green, but I'm not sure if that's really going to be in the future here. So countdown. So this is where it's going through. CSV scene file. Time left. Scene file. Scene ID. That's cool. Clip directory. Oh, test MP3 file. Uh, apparently we aren't using JSON up there anymore. And also we do want to add logging though. So we can see our friend, the logger. Where's our test NASA assembler? Cause that had all we need right there. explode. Sys is not defined. Where are you? Sys? Sys standout. Oh, stream handler. Sys standout. That's cool. Oh, it's funny. It's sending to standout, but we want to read standout too. Import sys. Dollar test pass. Hooray. Skipping, transition, longer. I was initializing twice. It's kind of weird. Oh, because it's a different test. Gotcha. Oh, this isn't testing the actual concat command. Why am I not testing concat command? That seems like it would be important. Yeah, this is where things got gross and sloppy. And apparently I didn't even test it. All right. FFmpeg command. Yeah, why didn't I test that? This is set up, right? Oh, this is going to be fun. Here, let's actually do this. Stub that. All right. Just make sure it passes. Cool. FMPEG concat T whatever. So actual is gonna equal mp3 dot concat command. Let's see what we actually get. Hmm, actually looks like it did most of the work. Kind of impressed that that worked. I don't want to mess with anything else, so we're gonna do just do this. Uh, 
Oh, those really should have quotes around them. First things first, but we will get set up for that. All right, let's just see if that works. Passed. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not even going to mess with it then. Never mind. Who cares if that's the longest line in the history of testing? Yeah, I need this test anyways because I need to make sure that we actually get like the right thing. Output to temp, NASA Timbler. Right. Oh, so these are all going to change. Expected. All right, so we're going to back into this. Now I really do need to have it split. Um, Space with new line. Wait, space with space slash new line. Place all. Nope. Space slash 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 n. Slash is everywhere. There we go. All right. Let's see if that passes for us. Okay, that passed. Okay, cool. So now we can do a little work on this one. Expected original. I guess I could do that in front of all the 11s. Do the 11s, then we'll do the 22s. We already did that one, so we need this one. This one, so this is nice, I can see the thing here, let me know where I've been and where I need to go. So this is what we're actually aiming for. Or this is the new thing that we're aiming for. All right, I'm gonna do the paths first and then I'm gonna add the um, watch my things. Quotes around the file paths. So this is gonna bomb because these things are not the same. good and then we're gonna hard code well actually we're gonna move this to dev we're gonna duplicate this so I want to be able to get back to this if I need to really quickly. Is 
So there's our dev. And then I'm just going to hard code this in right now to get the green. And really what I want to do this time is come here and do this. Whoops. I want to reverse and we're going to find new lines slash slash new line and replace that with a space slash slash new line gets done with the space. Does that reassemble it? It do. All right, we should be green again, I think. Please be green. Okay, cool. So now we can work on this for real. Um, so clip directory, clip root. So here is where we need to get things figured out. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff that's gonna have to happen here. Ah. So the first thing we need to do is, where are we testing? Test concat command, expected original, expected. See this all, yeah, this is poor. put this in clip root v2 we're gonna run this I don't see what happens a lot of things should explode empty range right so now we're gonna drop in the clips the way that we want to have them Oh, and actually, I'm not sure how it's going to work. With the randomness in there, I think don't th I should just be calling random integer so it should just be hitting the same thing even though the directory structure is different I think So that worked. Oh, please tell me it was actually that easy and just changing the directory structure. That would be awesome. Glob list, clip root, goes down, finds them, finds the CSV file, gets the thing. Oh!
that may actually be it is all you had to do yeah so this might actually cover me because it's getting so it's finding the csv file and when it gets the directory for it it's actually pulling this directory which is the directory we want and then it's searching for the clips clip glob class so here's where we should be able to adjust it so now i've got that i should be able to take this out Because what I what I could be doing is duplicate is grabbing this number and then doing that number dash scene dash whatever. But like I'm just gonna glob it because now the only thing that's in there are those files, or the those file names. Because what used to happen was it would have in the eleven directory it could have three different sets of clips, but we move it to eleven with all the one nine two blah 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 that's the only thing that's going to be in there in that directory of those clips. So when it hits the clip directory, I don't care what the thing is. I'm just looking for scene slash dash whatever dash star. Oh, now here's the other thing though. That could pick up scene four instead of 40. which might cause a problem. Dot star. It's dot star and glob with slash dot star. Slash dot. That seems to work. And just why is that so long? What's going on? That's taking a very long time. Time left is 58. Time is not going down. Pick scene 24 clip directory. Skip missing clip. Oh, okay. So that dot did not do well. Try that. Clip directory. Duration of scene 47 is one point. Skipping clip less than 2.5 seconds. Time left is still 58. Scene CSV file is all that. Number scene 79, pick scene 40, clip directory is there clip is seen 40 to mp4 duration of scene 40 is 3.9 seconds clip duration 3.97 seconds yeah time left cool that's it Let's add some stuff in here. Add W to logging to clear file for each run. Oh, and actually, let me get rid of. Oh, so a couple things we need to do, actually. So get rid of this. This is the original one. We don't want that anymore. And let's put this to V2 and run the full suite. Okay, everything passed. Cool. Test concat command, so I can get rid of this now, because that's where we're splitting to make sure that we had our own independent kind of thing. So run everything. Piecing. 
MP3 file. So now, okay, so we can get rid of this. That's our comment to figure this out. I don't know why that's yellow. Too many blank lines. Oh, okay. This is a lot of stuff in one little method. Also, it doesn't like that. Uh, so that's command command dev. So let's take this out. Call this old. Run our test suite. Oh, broke it. Oh, right. Because I didn't call and switch this back. Normally I do a little dance where I filter, where I bounce things over. Um, so I'd, I'd have the regular command and the dev command, or dev method, and then I would do a test where I just forward everything from the regular method to the dev method, just to see if stuff still goes. I didn't do that this time. And then you bounce through and take one out and pipe everything to the new one. Uh, Oh, okay, that's ffmpeg command. Okay, so that's good. So all that's running. So let's run... MP3 integration. Clip root v2. Short dash three. Short dash three. All right, so this is our MP3 integration file. So let's run it and see if it actually builds one for us. Nope. Transitions. Make video. Why did that not update? Oh, we can get rid of this. Um, I could get rid of that yet. Not until all the tests pass. Make video path. Concat command. Wait, why does this look different? Where's my JSON? Run concat command. Where do we make the JSON? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was hard coded that whole time. This may still be a problem. Whoops. I was like, wow, that was easy. Possibly not. Okay, something exploded. There we go. I kind of expected something to explode during all that. Test concat command. Oh, 
Clip Root V2. Well, if that's the only thing that changed, that's cool. We can deal with that. So this time I am going to do an actual find and replace. Because that should be pretty accurate. OK. Full test. No such file or directory scenes that CSV. Clip root V2. Clip root V2 11. Blah -de blah -de blah. Where is that coming down from? Let's see which test that was in. I'm guessing it was concat command since that's really what we messed with. This concat command, that's concat command. So let's run concat command. It is not. Well, let's just run the full suite and see if we can figure out which one it is. There's some red. Unit test case, unit test case, test mp3 file, mp3 file, parsers. Does that usually show you what test it is somewhere? In get duration four clip. Okay. Wait, that's where it broke. Actual MP3 get duration for clip. Test MP3 file. All right, we know where it broke. Well, why doesn't tell us which test it was? Text executor yield, run, call test with method, test method. In call test method, method test mp3 file dot pi. Oh, test get duration for clip. There it is, right there. That's what I'm looking for. Get duration for clip. I don't know what that was. Oh, okay. So we're passing it an explicit. All right, see if that runs. There we go. Okay, so that works. Let's run the integration again. Did this work? I can't remember. I don't think it did. Okay, so far.
Yeah, so the other one that I'll need to do is just rename. So I need to update the thing that's splitting all the clips. to point to that second level directory. Um, that shouldn't be awful. And then this thing is ready to go. But yeah, this thing's ready to go after that. Like once the files are in the, and actually I think it would work maybe in the existing place, but I don't want to mess with that. Cause like it could have that conflict where it could grab the wrong file. And so we corrected two things. Like one, it could have grabbed the wrong named file if they were sitting in that same directory. Um, and then secondarily it could have grabbed like file one instead of file 14 um, because there was a wildcard character uh, for the after the number before like without anything else following it so one and 14 would both match the wild card test passed Uh, the other thing I should do is run concat command. Logging remove temp file. Why did that show up? So we ran, yeah, why didn't that show up? Logging info, oh, did I, I didn't have logging on for this file, did I? I did not, let's add logging there too. Uh, we're just gonna steal it from here. Import logging, import sys. All right, just because we changed it, we're gonna run it one more time, but we don't have to watch it. All right, I'm gonna start putting some of this in GitHub. Uh, or git, git, whatever. So this is logging. This is logging. Add random seed for consistency. This is probably not the way you're supposed to do this stuff, but. Test output root short, yeah, okay. Um, point to short ter mp3 file. Add logging. Yeah, I guess really, I just want to snap this whole state, right? I still don't totally get Git. Why is that all green? Where's the red one? Because we took a whole bunch out. Moved CSV files to new location. All 
All right, so that passed. Okay, everything's cool. And we should see, yeah, there we go. Remove temp file. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So that was MP3 integration. Let's test Nassler assembly. Let's just run the whole thing. Which is this pointed to? Real JSON? Where's that going? Ah, it's going to. Oh yeah, the MP3 root. Oh wait, wait, stop! It's gone wrong. Clip root. That's fine. Sample data, hyperspeed MP3. Reuse that to calculate something, I think. But let me get out this before we run this. Yeah, I probably should fully split out. But yeah, so I'm doing two integrations. I really don't need to do... I could just do it in this NASA... I, no, I should do it in the MP3 integration. I, I really shouldn't be doing it here, too. Because, like, it's testing the same thing. Real pass. Uh, yeah, I don't need to do that. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to comment it out. How about that? There we go. Okay. Because the other thing is, like, MP3 is generating and doing it. And so, and then MP3, test MP3 file. This goes fast because there's no creation of stuff. Yeah, so this is the one place where we go through and we test and actually build a file because um, I want to have an integration run there. So that's cool. So now, that's got the right in there. All that stuff's in there. I don't know why that's not there, whatever. Now let's see if this explodes because that other path is called funky. Um, So this is using dev config path. So let's get it set up or config dev. Storage, dev, NASA, smoke test, source clips. Okay, so these are all in subdirectories. That's for the missing stuff, so that's fine. And that's for the missing stuff, that's fine. Okay, so this should build... And let's actually build two. We're gonna have NASA MP3s. That's three mag. Yeah. That's two mag. This is a good one. I don't like that one. We're gonna give it a second. We're gonna, even though it's longer, we're gonna use this other one. Source MP3s. Okay, that should do it. And we're off. See? 
I don't get it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. New error, all right. Single petition indexer is out of bounds. Clip. So this is in index error, single position indexer, single positional indexer is out of bounds. Okay. Zero is caused by that. Indexing is out of bounds here is probably most because there are 19 columns in your data set. There are less than 19 columns in your data set. So column 18 does not exist. All right, which one was it trying to hit? OA. E23. OA E23 CSV file. Let's open that in PyCharm. Maybe. Actually, what we should do is see if we can't figure out how to test that. So let's take that. Oh, that's going to throw everything off. But we could do this. Clip V3. Okay, so now how are we gonna figure this out? So let's do our test integration. MP3 path. Clip root. See if we get a similar error. We do. We think. Single position. Okay. It's good. We got the same error. That's nice. Helpful. Okay, so this is gonna be in our MP3 file. It's right here.
what is different about this? So that was scene two. Scene two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mother. How did this work for all the other files? Also, hang on a second. I think that had a semicolon in it. Oh, no, it didn't. Semicolon was, or the colon was that. This happens when you index a row or column with a number that is larger than the dimensions of your data frame. For instance, getting the 11th row relevant column when we only have three. Scene and scene. Oh, well, actually, what we can do is do this, right? Let's see what that data frame looks like. I like debugging. Except it didn't actually debug. Oh, because I didn't hit the right number, right thing. Data frame, nine, eight. T eight, nine, scene, start frame. Data frame, nine, eight, eight, nine, nine, eight. Nine. This is going forever, isn't it? Scene number start frame one zero two eight three. This goes forever. Pretty sure it's going forever. Time code 022, time code 022, time code 022. Yeah, this is all, that's just looping infinitely. Scene number slash start frame. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Is that what's happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're looking for length in seconds, which is nine. Columns eight. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it kind of does. Clip root V2, 11. Yeah, so these, aha, uh -huh. my test files. All had more. Wait, how'd that run in general? It must never have hit something where the test file was less than. That. So the, the length of this row in the, all the ones that I was testing was longer than this. So this is acting as a header row. I thought what I was doing 
Where's my MP3? How do you see other files? Parse read CSV. Yeah, okay. Pandas, CSV, wrong number of headers. Also, before we do all this, so I'm just going to commit all this. Update to use file structure where each video set has its own dir. I see a few, a few hundred rows and 26 columns, but the last few columns only have a value for a few rows. Read CSV, trace back, we receive an error. But if you pass names parameter, you get this resist. Uh, okay. Wait, but it's weird that... Scene number, comma, start frame, one, zero. Two, eight, three, nine. What can I do if the names in the first column have only A through C? Now I'm gonna give it dummy names. Header, none. You can also load a CSV with the separator blue to load the entire string into a column. Then split the breaking string. After that, you can cat. All right, let's do header none here and see what happens. I thought I was testing. I thought I ran a test where there was one that didn't have data in it. Oh, but it jumped before it got to here. It wasn't shorter. Okay. Exploded. Expected eight fields in line two, saw ten. Okay. Um, read all the line. The problem with the given solution is you have to know the max number of columns required. I couldn't find the direct function for this problem, but sure thing right. The definition we can read all the lines, split it, count the number of words elements in each row. In particular case, I didn't know the max number of columns, but this might be useful. Or I did know. There's got to be a way to do this with pandas without having to. Uh, Handling variable columns. Uh, 
which seems to work. Ragged CSV. Columns. Yeah, names, calls, engine python. Yeah, but I don't have... I don't know. Like, some of these are, could be... Pandas. Rows are longer than headers. Hundred pen ticks to save you time and energy. Pandas. Data longer than header. More. Really likes that one. Let's go look at that one. However, note that use calls well so what you could do is you could read the number of files Ooh, look at all that stuff that it does uh, I can't read it because that's not a good font for it and maybe it should be like this Delimiter, header, infer. Header, int, list event, default, infer. Row numbers to use as column names and the start of the data. Data behavior is inferred from column names. If no names are passed. So header one. Maybe. Put you over here. Single position. All right, header two. Single position indexer is out of bounds. Oh, I thought we might have it right there. If no names are passed, there's zero. And column names are inferred. Well, actually, let's do this. Why well, I don't need to debug it so we can see what's happening. Data frame zero one to zero six ninety nine. All right. Headers and columns index one zero. Zero 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 eight three nine. Okay, so it's on this one. Wait. Columns. Yeah, so it's using this as columns. It's 
C number start frame index 10. Oh, enter scene ID minus one because we just bumped the headers down one. Int scene ID. Let's see what that does. That's looking good. Okay. Yeah, so it was reading the headers improperly, but like I didn't care about the headers originally because they were all longer than the 10 rows that the, the 10 columns that the data was in that gave me the durations that I needed. But when the clip of the video only had uh, one thing in it, or like five things in it that was less than the 10 columns that we needed, it crashed because it couldn't, it like pandas didn't like it. So where, somewhere we clip out data frame PDCS. Oh, so I'm actually getting into the data frame twice. If index, yeah, okay, so this is where, I, okay, that's how I'm dealing with it up here. Like, this is where I'm actually skipping it in one place, which is if the total length is less than one, or less than, if it's whatever, it's shorter than one or zero. Scene count minus one, whatever. Yeah, so this gives you the length of the file. When we subtract one from that, you would get zero if there's nothing in there. So that's where I'm skipping in the first place. That's why, so in those, the header also is shorter than the other value columns, but I'm already skipping it. So I'm not hitting it over to that other thing, which is messing with it. I really thought I did that before. That's twice when I've done something and it feels like I've done it before. I feel like I've automatically reverted something in Git somehow. Or unintentionally, not automatically, but. Okay, so if this goes. past dev tests output root short right that's what it was hey we got some new video footage Oh, it's gonna spin. That's funny. All right. 
Smoke test. Nothing exploded yet. It's a good sign. Actually, I should look and see. This goes to storage, right? Dev, NASA smoke test, output videos. Okay, I think that's where it goes. Because we're on config, dev. Yeah, NASA smoke test. So that's where we're headed. Ooh, computer is slow when it's transcoding. How long until Twitch and YouTube get licenses so that you can play music, like real music? I hope it's kind of a long time because I'm kind of working on something that would be cool to do sharing music, but I would be like, I'm cool with that if that goes away and they actually build something for real that has it or just let you do it. Uh, current song, Dan and Drum. Yippee-ki-yay radio. Yippee-ki-yay by Dan and Drum. Uh, I can actually get rid of those. I think. Yeah, probably. I need to go through and clean out trash. Alright, I'm going to watch this go for a minute. And then I'm going to go to the beach, maybe. We'll see how that goes. So I think we've got three going in here. Storage, dev, smoke test, mp3s, two. Okay, we're doing two songs. With one, oh, a bunch of clips came down on A. Ah, we'll have some variation this time. I've been looking at this, these same two clips for forever. Yeah, this has been a fun project for figuring out like the reasoning about the stuff or whatever. And I've learned way a lot about testing and like randomness and logging and all this other stuff. So it's a good, it's a good project. Oh, 30, what? That should be like a hundred. I am now nervous because it shouldn't be, well, actually how big is this? That's not, there's no way that's like 50 gig. That's 300 meg. What is eating all the space on my hard drive? I will have to find that out because that was much higher recently. Building these videos takes some space because it like, I don't know, does a, makes all the clips itself and then reassembles them or whatever so it like doubles the space i mean that makes sense um i think i don't really know uh but that's kind of nuts yeah i'm looking at a new machine and like the like two terabyte drives are very expensive but like i've had this one for five years so if you think about like a, the cost of the upgrade of the drive over two years um Theoretically, that can make it less hurt less, even though it doesn't. I just did the thing again where I bent the can a little bit, and the minute it's gonna go boop and spit stuff everywhere, just like I did off my hand right there. Let's see if I got crap on my monitor. Oh, 
I did not have good posture during most of that. I need to get better posture during these things. Um, yeah, uh, so let's see. Ooh, that blue's definitely much different now. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Build a YouTube uploader, yeah. Um, Pinboard stuff. Automatically push PyCharm to scratch pad, I like that. Set up one of those firewalls, that'd be cool. Create Larmimps and Sex Expander snippets. Federalist papers. Oh, that's cool. We can do that real quick, maybe. So, like, I've got a. I think I do, anyways. Um, yeah, if I do li semicolon, it prints out all this lorem ipsum text for me, which is just placeholder text. But what I was thinking about doing was, oh, hey, look at this. Everything's slow. Either that or I'm not allowed to look at the Federalist, Federalist papers because that would be unpatriotic, even though they're the Federalist papers, which is like James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, maybe? Going back and forth about the direction of the country. Wow. What was that? XM Web. I don't know what that is. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Machine. Slow. XM web. They be, like I forgot how uh, yeah I got here at some point. It's still see that's the one thing about Safari. Like I kind of wish it wouldn't keep stuff in its history as long. And now this one's gonna be there for a while because I didn't see that one for a long time. Anyways, here's the Federalist Papers. But what I was gonna do is in Text Expander. I don't like using a computer that's slow. <laughs> so to start with, we can just grab, so 50 is supposed to be a good one. Whoops. 50. It may, to the people of the state of New York, We're gonna need to add some other paragraphs in here. Publius, Publius, Publius. Where'd Text Expander go? Disappeared. So just doing that, now if we do li, what's it look like? Wish Text Expander wouldn't necessarily go away if I leave that window open. So you can do JavaScript with it. Plain text, Apple script, shell script, JavaScript. Use a JavaScript text expander object to append output or just the date and time or just use the final statement as a snippet of its expansion value. JavaScript result. Oh, okay, so the final statement. So, let's just see what happens. Li, it should just give us, oops. 
I can type it. There you go, JavaScript result. So lines equals, we'll make an array of all this stuff. Ah, come on. Um, I'll just do this manually. I can't think of the way to... Oh, that's frustrating. So I think if we just do this... This, 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 whoops, ah, come on. So we're going to text expander and put those in as lines. Those are very long lines. Uh, what's JavaScript's random? Inclusive zero, but not one. Range zero to less than one. Okay. See, I really kind of wish dem demos would start off with random and then just give you like whatever one. Um, get random at three. Get random at. I mean, I like the function, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna use it. So then if we just do the last statement of lines, well, let's just do this, lines one, just make sure this works. Super slow. I'm so used to like, bring up that little terminal and then go in, but it's not uh, it's not that fast at the moment. So li, okay, whoops, nope. Unexpected identifier weather close, oh, okay, so there's a quote in there somewhere. Can you find in here? Yeah, look at that. Nope, not in there, you can't. one okay so what we're looking for is just getting random random lines right get random and max should be lines dot length think we'll find out nope lines length is six lines length is not a function but 
There, here, let's see. Is this still gone? That's still gone. Get random. JavaScript length of array. Oh, you don't put uh, those things after it. There's one, there's two, three. He really likes whatever that first one is. Fourthly, wow, it did a bunch of Same randomness. That's funny. Fifthly, that's kind of crazy. Sweet. Okay, so there we go. So I can do <laughs> some amount of random. It really should have better randomness. Um, I mean, whatever. That's how random works. But like, that's suspicious in terms of like its ability to do random. It's probably pulling off of the like seconds or something. I don't know what it's pulling off of, but it could be that that was straight random. Okay, we're in the second one. So let's see if the first one worked. See, these are gonna take a while to build. I was originally looking at putting some of this stuff on Amazon to see if I can make it go faster or whatever, but like, it's gonna take a long time. Let's see what this looks like. Also, before we do that. See, 76 gig. I can't. I can't believe that was taking gigabytes to do. But that was 36 just a minute ago. Whatever. feels longer than 10 seconds. I should have clipped faster, I think. I realize that's super loud. The timing on these clips, or the transitions, are way too much on the special ones. That was freaky. Yeah, see, so it's hitting the same clips a bunch because there's not a whole lot of. Um, Available clips. Though I do kind of like how much these animations are going. And like sometimes it's just like it's that's kind of a boring clip that's long, but that's how it's gonna work. Yeah, when it, we're doing it for real, you'll get way less of the same thing happening over and over. See, that's... something's weird there. Same. There's just gonna be a bunch of these. <laughs> and I'm thinking about making like longer ones too. So they did the same thing.
cool. I spent a ridiculous amount of time doing that. <laughs> uh, that's okay, it'll be fun. Oops. Put in some breaks in here. These are very long sentences. And also we've got more uh, more text it'll make, or more breaks, it'll make it less likely that you keep hitting the same ones, right? Some larger ones in here. Yeah, I should make one of these in general. And like put it on the site for a, just a random thing. All right, let's see if that still works. There we go. Cool. Now I've got some random, I got some random stuff that's actual words instead of lore maps and text. Yeah, I'll actually I'll put that on the site at some point. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do next now that I've kind of wound up this uh, video project. Um, yeah, I need to make, so like the thing we did today where I moved the splitter down um, to change the directory structure a little bit. I need to set up the thing that does the splitting to actually make that directory structure and then go through and update and then like move everything out of the old directory structure into the new one. Um, but that shouldn't be too bad because that's just padding stuff. Um, oh, actually, I wanted to keep that open. So just did that. Uh, create Lormus and text it from the Federalist Papers. Just did that. Cool. Here's some stuff that we did. Is this the done? Yeah, done. Yeah, I'll be messing with... So I, gotta, I need to make a decision on if I'm going to mess with... Django or React, because I kind of want to get, I want to redo my local dev site. No, I'm going to do it, or my local, this site that has my basic tools and stuff and like, uh, these little links open stuff for me and like, I do some other stuff, whatever. Um. Warm ups and federal papers. There you go. Uh, so I want to redo this. Right, right now it's just a bunch of PHP pages. Oh, here's one. Yeah, so like the GIFs, right? So here's my GIFs. And then if I click on one, it, once the computer catches up, opens it up for me. It moves it into directory, opens it up for me so I can drag it and like throw it into Twitter or throw it in whatever. Um, so if I want to use one of these gifts instead of one of the one of the ones that's available. So it's like it's just tools like that. But yeah, I'm gonna do it in Django. Because I was I did some research on Django or whatever. I did it a while ago, but not really. Um, and then started messing with it again recently with the idea that I do this, but now I'm interested in doing React stuff too. But like I wanna get this going, and I know enough Django now to get that going. So I'm gonna start there and then I'll work on doing React. Um, Cause I'll, I just don't know enough about React. Like how I'd have to like ramp all the way back up on that. And I don't think it's not gonna hurt me to do Django stuff basically. Um, the, though I do kind of, it's gonna slow me down doing React to work in Django. But I think that's an okay trade off right now, especially getting, getting going. Um, well, it's almost done.
was thinking very hard about finishing up. Oh, no, that's just the transcode. It's still got to run FFmpeg, so we still have a little bit to go. Yeah, there's a FFmpeg firing up. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to look at. So this is... Hmm. Okay, this, this is actually using... So this is using this config, and here are the weights of the randomness. And so fade is way up there, but it's still used a whole bunch of those other ones, which I guess kind of makes sense, because 25, 25, that's probably another quarter. So that's probably 400, maybe 1 out of 10, 1 out of 5, 1 out of 10, 1 out of 8, something around there. I can't do the math. Um, is going to be not a fade. And I probably want to bounce that down just a little bit. Um, but we'll see. Oh, uh, the other one I was going to try and see, and I don't know if there's a good way to find this, is... Oh. That was actually one of them, wasn't it? That was one of the clips where... It did that weird hash thing, or like... Separated it. I think that was it. I hit it on the first try. That'd be kind of crazy. Uh, let's go see if we can look at that one more time. Oh, yeah, so hyperspeed is the temp one, and now it's overlaying the MP3 on it. All right, let's see if we can find this one. I've actually got a log of this, too, so I could count the clips. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. See, that's... I don't know why that is in there so long. It should have not been that long. We'll deal with that later. Actually, we'll deal with that now. See, if clip duration is longer than 10... Actually, what I guess I should do is find that clip. It's one of the new ones. Hopefully there's not a million of these. These all look like they're out there. Oh, there he is. That's a different clip though. It's a different view. I think. Also, it says that's nine seconds. Okay, that is the clip. But, like, it's way longer. So it starts at 7. Or starts at 8. Oh, there's like a timing thing going on here. So there's... And it's actually the overlap. So it's like... That's almost 20 seconds. Okay.
<laughs> this video stuff is just so all over the place. Uh, dev, 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 dev. Figure out why this is so slow in the output. Shows up like 20 plus seconds, even though it starts at 9. O2 EA2, and it's going to scene three. E, A, E2. Okay, there you go. EXIF tool, all that jazz, scene three. I'll bet it's gonna be like frames per second thing. Video frame rate. Yep, 60 frames a second versus... OA6, just to pick another one. EXIF tool. OA6, scene 33, because it's right there. Also 60 frames a second, okay. Well. EXF tool 11, I'm through scene. Oh yeah, picked a bunch of them out, 65, whatever. Uh, video frame rate, 29. <sighs> All right, so I gotta figure out if I wanna fix that. I, I mean, it kinda be interesting to have slow stuff happen, but that's gonna make some of the clips like 20 seconds. Yeah, that's not as good. But that is for another time. It's in pretty good shape right now. Let's look at that last one. Dev, NASA, output, hyperspeed. Ooh, that's bigger. See, yeah, there's all kinds of weirdness happening. Oh, God. It's got to pick it off of the first video. So now what I need to do, oh wow. Now what I need to do is actually normalize all the clips, I'm guessing. See, that one's probably whatever. That's kind of trippy. I can actually put in some intentional glitches like that, I guess, but like not all of it, right? Cause that's not great. Let's restarted. All right. Um, 
All right, before we get rid of that, so. And let me go find the log file to put in there. I'm very glad I made the log file. Because I can go through this and figure out like what the clips were. And what freaked it out. Processing hybrid, yeah. I'm very glad I made the lock file. <laughs> that was time well spent. Okay, uh, that's gonna do it for now. We'll uh, we'll check back in probably later tonight and see uh, see what's going on uh, and all that jazz. Uh, I went way longer than I meant to, but it was on a roll, so that happens. See y'all. Take it easy.